Alright, and I'm gonna crouch and shoot this policeman in the head. And we'll see how much damage it does. Let us get nice and close. And bam. <gasps> oh! <laughs> 1,782! We have just finished the tutorial of the game. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Spiffing Brit, and today we're playing Cyberpunk 2077. Well, we are going to be turning the worst gun in the game into the most powerful weapon in the universe. We're talking about taking a weapon which is cheap, dropped by level one enemies, and turning this chumpy level one starter pistol into a weapon that could puncture a hole through the fabric of reality itself and impale a bag of Yorkshire tea into God's very own heart. How on earth are we going to do it? Well, you're just going to have to watch this incredible video. Also, before we jump into the video, I want to say that there are no spoilers inside. That's right, I don't do any main story stuff. We've kept spoilers to a minimum. If you're planning to play the game yourself, don't worry. You get to see nothing other than me completely break the game and show you how you can also destroy every ounce of balance in the game. You don't have to do it yourself, but you're definitely going to enjoy watching me destroy this little sausage. What you do in this game is you play a character called V and you can basically create and customize this character to be whatever you like and they just slot into the story that's great that's what you want you want that in your rpg game certainly in an rpg game like this you want to be able to create a character and play it naturally we're going to be creating a character and playing it but when it comes to creating a character you have to pick your faction starting background kind of because this is your life path you could start as a street kid you could start as a nomad or you can do what i'm going to be doing and start in the corporate world yes that's right you grind your way up a massive corporate ladder with hopefully a whole bunch of money and stuff and that's what I like. <laughs> I love a good bit of exploiting the corporate world. Uh, now when it comes to our lovely character we're actually going to be making someone very special. We're going to be creating Vianu Keeves. That's right. The cyberpunk twin cousin to Keanu Reeves who you might know is also actually in this video game. Um, all I need to do is find his right skin tone. White is shade. There we go. That's Rianu. Now considering they did manage to make Keanu Reeves already in this video game, it's natural that they're just going to have his his options in there already. I mean, just look at this sweet boy. That's some great hair. Oh my god, this is just some straight up anime stuff. That's just anime right there. Then we need to get his nose. Well, his nose is just simply the biggest nose that they have. He's got to be nose 21. That looks abs- what an absolute scorcher of a nose there. That looks beautiful. Mouth, the biggest kissy mouth I can find because there's one thing I know about Rihanna Keeves slash Keanu Reeves. That man loves to give kisses with his lovely wholesome face. Oh, what a man. Oh, yes. Oh, that beard is perfect. Oh, that is just fantastic. Oh, look at it. Oh, it is just absolutely amazing. Cyberware. We don't want any cyberware. Get rid of that cyberware. Right, time to get to work. FPS testing mode. Let's go, baby. Let's see how smooth this is. Oh, and the game's crashed. <laughs> 12 seconds later. Oh, right, let's go. Let's go. Ah, uh, and fellow Jackie again. Oh, no crash! No crash, ladies and gentlemen. The game is working. The game is working. Hello there. These people appear to be interested in me. HQ. Is there a problem? Oh, he said that without even moving his lips. What an incredible man. Right, let me go into my inventory already and see if I have a better pistol. So here we go. This is the good stuff. So every gun has stats and they also have bonuses. So this pistol does a 1.2 headshot damage multiplier. This is what you want. You don't want a plus 10 damage for a headshot. You want a multiplier because multipliers can be broken much stronger than anything else. Oh my goodness, a straw hat. It's a straw hat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Sorry, level requirement two. You are level capping a straw woven trilby hat. Game, you can't, you can't do that. It's not okay. Like, I can understand it from a balancing perspective, but it's a straw hat. Right, away we go. Job done. <laughs> Job done. Jackie, come on, let's go. I don't want to spoil the story to other people. <laughs> what the f <laughs> I'm sorry, what the f was that? Have you got phase shifting abilities? This man is incredible. What is this man? He's a beautiful boy. I will say I'm enjoying this game. I am very much enjoying this. This is my kind of game I can get behind. Now before we get into the elevator, I'm going to be taking a look at my character stats because um, I've noticed that yes, here we go. So with my reflexes, I can increase my handgun stat. Handguns are at level two and here we go. This is it. We've got a skill tree, ladies and gentlemen. After a successful headshot with a pistol or a 
revolver. Crit chance increases by 25%. Nice. So that's okay. This is how we do it. We can get to a plus 100% critical hit chance if you can basically stack modifiers up to 75%. So if you can get up to 75%, then all you need is this to then guarantee 100%. We're already at 12%, so we're actually quite far there. Last round in pistol revolver clip deals double damage. No, no, hang on a second. So at the moment, we're currently doing about 75 damage with a headshot but if we critical it we can get more damage with a headshot so already our revolver does a hundred percent extra damage because it's a headshot it does double damage so instead of doing 75 it does 140 if it was to do a critical hit it would double again plus a bit extra so we'd be doing like 300 and then if it's the final bullet it doubles again i don't think anyone balanced this game i genuinely don't think anyone balanced this game because the issue is they've included flat times twos and then they've also included modifiers if you mix a percentage with a straight up doubling then that that doubling doesn't end it just gets worse and worse and worse like literally this means the most overpowered weapon in the game is a goddamn flintlock pistol from the pirate era you just pull that bad boy out bam one hit headshot 100 critical hit chance triple damage not even triple damage quadruple damage probably not even that at the end of the day it removes the damage penalty from pistols and revolvers when shooting from a distance so that means you can use it as a sniper you whack a scope on it your pistol is more powerful than a sniper rifle no 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 no, 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 <laughs> no, you can't do that. Right, I'm playing the game. Oh, I've got to reload, actually. Oh, there's someone. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's incredible. Well, I like this. Can I join in? Oh, a bit late. I suppose I can, because apparently they don't lose health when they explode. Right, critical headshot. That was 162 damage. Good. This is also apparently going to give me street cred. There we go. You're dead. You are also dead. Headshot, headshot. Good stuff. And one last person. Shooty, shoot. And you're dead. Good stuff. And I've leveled up my handguns again, which means I can open my perks. And you know what time it is. It's time to increase handgun critical chance by another 8%. Because someone thought that would be a good idea. <laughs> it's a strange game. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Right, talk to Jackie. I'm pretty, pretty excited to fill out this tech tree. Well, not tech tree. Sorry. Does my car not exist to you, Jackie? It is exceedingly rude to phase shift through someone's car. Right, combat started, so time to get rid of the uh, silencer now. Let us, let us fight. Cover me, oh my, what, sorry, did I just, I didn't move there. You can't just move me round cover when I don't want to be put round cover. Headshots for all, grenades for all. That's what we're all about at Spivco, bam. Handgun level up again. Reduce recoil of pistols by 10% now. There we go. Hello, look at this man. He's just sat waiting here. I think this is a perfect time to um, try out our silencer and just see how much damage it can do. So um, let's crouch down, aim for the head and kaboosh. 199 damage and he fell to his death. Now that is some good stuff. And 51 critical body shot. Oh my goodness, this is good stuff. 102 headshot. So few shots and yet so much damage. I mean, of course, the damage over range drop-off is insane, but considering there's a mod to just simply remove it, um, there is simply no downside to using the pistol. Normally, you want to use rifles because they're great at range, but no. Uh, just simply whack a scope onto this bad boy and you have yourself a custom sniper rifle. Oh, nice right, let's go. This. Let's go, Jackie. Let's go. Where's my car? You know, if I summon my car, is Jackie just going to walk through it? F to confirm. Oh, Jackie. Watch out for the truck. Watch out for the truck, Jackie. Jackie, look out for the truck. But if you got the cojones, you Jackie does not care for truck. Truck move for Jackie. All right, there we go. We leveled up. Perfect. Let's go to uh, perks. Upgrade reflexes again. Yeah, we just we just kind of have to. It's just by far the best thing in the universe. <laughs> Deal 50% more damage with pistols and revolvers to enemies whose health is below 25%. That seems great. I kind of want... Okay, Corral is probably the best one here. Yeah, let's go for that. Bam. Right, go to Lizzie's bar between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Right, let's get in and go to Lizzie's bar. Anyway, these guys look like they uh, I could kill them, so um, I'm just going to do that because it will level up my pistol stats. And let's go for that headshot on you. <gasps> 736! Se oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god, what the heck is the police in this game? Okay, we're dead. I'm sorry, but our base headshot attack damage is 736. That wasn't even a critical hit. That was 736 headshot damage. I don't know what modifiers are even causing that. Oh, something's going on here. This looks fun. Let's go join this. Oh, I leveled up again. Sorry, let me choose my perk points. Unchief the pistol. Who am I meant to help here? In this situation probably the police i guess all right 289 headshot 170 headshot 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 oh it's an anime lady and you're dead oh that was good so um turns out pistols pretty darn good i think it's down here i'm here to save the day it's me hero man 388 headshot damage 189 critical non-headshot 133 headshot and another 160 headshot very nice that's mine hello there hello you're dead and lift. Oh, so what? 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 What is going on? What is going on? What is going? What was that? The enemy to the right isn't even shooting me. What's your job? What is your job, Stephen? Stephen, you're you're told to shoot the bad guys, Stephen. Stephen. Stephen, now's not the time to freeze up on the job, Stephen. Look, it's been a long day, I know. And we have our differences, Steve. But it's okay. I forgive you. Hang on, I know you didn't... What do you mean I'll pay for this? We're friends. We're friends, Stephen. We've always been friends in life. Can you stop Jackie? Jackie, he's... He's a friend, Jackie. He's our new friend, Jackie. He's Is he okay? Oh, now he's alive. Okay, he just needed just needed a bit of a kick. Sorry, guys. Stephen's dead. Oh, <laughs> what's going on here? Smell my finger. Smell my finger. Smell my finger. Let me sniff my own hand. Sniff. 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 Shoot floor. It does nothing. Oh, my God. It does nothing. Wait. Oh, my God. What is going on here? Crime reported. Bang. 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 Right, and I'm gonna crouch and shoot this policeman in the head and we'll see how much damage it does. Let us get nice and close and BAM! <gasps> oh! <laughs> 1,782! We have just finished the tutorial of the game! Bam, I've jumped into the midpoint of the video when you were least expecting me. What am I doing here? Well, I'm here to tell you about a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, courtesy of the legendary Vianu Keeves. Yes, that's right, he's told me that the first 10,000 people to like this video will be visited by Vianu Keeves in their dreams tonight, and that anyone who doesn't like the video will be visited by Vianu Keeves in their nightmares. And trust me, you don't want that. Oh god, you don't want that. If you do have that run run uh, there is no way you can run actually he controls everything at this point he's too powerful oh my goodness i am so sorry what on earth have i created anyway let's jump back into the video we've got a game to break now once again i'm in yet another boss fight of the game however this time the boss is simply floating above me and clipped into the ceiling this is very useful for most combat encounters and it reminds me of very british military tactics where you fight your enemy in a way which is completely unfair and imbalanced ah it's just how i like it and of course this is another reminder that if you are waiting to play cyberpunk and you really want a perfect experience wait until it's been patched so ladies and gentlemen welcome back to cyberpunk 2077 not much has changed since the last moment you've been watching this video except our character has progressed a little bit we're level 14 we're hardly anywhere through the game we're probably about a third or a quarter of the way through so we're a bit of a scrub we can't really do that great however we're not in fact i've turned one of the worst guns into the game into beyond the best gun in the game. This right here is the Overture, a random common revolver you will find on the basic scrub nub enemies. It is valued at 39 euro dollars. To put this into perspective, this is a legendary pistol which I recently discovered worth 386 dollars. It is 10 times as expensive, so logically you'd expect it to be 10 times as good. This is where you're wrong. Everything in comparison to this gun here is garbage. This gun, 16 base damage. This gun, 30 base damage. High powered sniper. Sniper rifles, 200 or so base damage. Sniper rifles are garbage, but what isn't garbage are completely broken, overpowered guns like this. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Now, logically, I'm quite low level, which means you'd be expecting my character to be generally hitting people for a comfortable small amount of damage, maybe 50 or 80. Now, the average damage of this gun is basically between 81 and 66, so we'll call it 77. But you'd be expecting that if I were to shoot this man in the body, I'd be doing just a simple pull 88 damage well that's where you're wrong so how much is it going to do there's only one way to find out shoot 
Bam, 6,264 damage. Now this is pretty interesting because we shouldn't be able to do 6,000 damage. We're not very far in the game. So how are we doing it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to break down the spreadsheet of game breaking because there are two ways to increase your damage in the game. One, to increase the base multipliers the guns have and two, to completely destroy critical mechanics in this game, both of which I found a way to break and exceedingly early on. But before I demonstrate just how to do that, I think it makes sense for me to show off an infinite crafting experience exploit. This is just a nice small baby exploit. You guys are going to love it. So it's time for me to demonstrate an infinite crafting exploit because of course crafting is quite powerful in video games because you're able to basically break a lot of things. Now for some reason one very common item in this game is very broken when it comes to breaking it down. The item in question is basically any grenade. Now make note of the fact that we have 321 crafting experience out of 1435 in order to level up. So remember 300 21. What we're going to do is go into my inventory and hop into my backpack and in here you'll notice we have a whole bunch of other fun grenades that we can try and break down but most importantly I'm going to break down these frag grenades here. Now normally when you hover over an item you have to hold down Z to disassemble it then you choose the amount you want to disassemble yet for some reason when you have the grenade equipped and you're hovering over it and then you simply hold down the Z key on the grenade this lovely select the quantity of how much you want to disassemble menu comes up and you can simply say that you're going to disassemble everything and we've selected that button and nothing has happened. We can then hold down the Z key again, disassemble it, nothing happens. Do it again, nothing happens. Do it yet again. Lo and behold, absolutely nothing is happening. These grenades aren't being broken down. We can try it on a slightly more expensive EMP grenade. Try and break down all the EMP grenades and it just doesn't break it down. The frag grenades, equally, nothing happens. These biohazard grenades, nothing happens. So we've disassembled them and not disassembled them because when we go back to our character, go to crafting, Ah, we're up to 525 experience. That's quite an improvement. <laughs> So basically what's happening is we're able to break down items, gain the crafting experience without actually breaking down the item. So if you wanted to become a high level crafting genius, then this is the easiest way to do it without losing any money. It's just free experience at no costs. Isn't that just fantastic? So ladies and gentlemen, that's how to get infinite engineering experience, but how on earth are we able to get our damage so high? Well, it's simple. We're using a very special gun, a revolver. Revolvers and most pistols do increased headshot damage. This gun gets a 2.3 headshot damage multiplier, basically meaning it does 230% damage if you hit someone in the head. Now that's brilliant because most guns don't have that. The Ajax doesn't exist. This other pistol, it's a pistol, so it has a small one, but it's nowhere near as good as a revolver. Equally, my revolver has a silencer attached, meaning we do 2.5 times damage from stealth. The silencer also increases critical chance by 27%. But that's not all, ladies and gentlemen, because in our character statistics, if we go into the handgun section, we gain plus 10% damage here, plus 30% damage here, double damage here, a plus 25% damage here, this negates any damage drop off, and as you can see, things are ever so slightly broken with handguns. But that's not all, because you can also increase the damage statistics even further by going into the cool section and leveling up a few stealth things like silent and deadly would increase damage by 25%, this would increase critical chance by 15%, and this just increases damage by 15%. Now, this is all insane, because when you attach all of these modifiers together, if I was to pick up every single perk on the tree that increased the damage I could do with a pistol, well I'd be taking a base damage of 77 and increasing it not up to just 6,000 but actually beyond because the more percentages you add the more insane it gets. Every time you add another plus 10% that next plus 10% is a lot stronger. So what is the end result? Well if all of these percentages were to apply themselves in a normal way the damage we'd actually see increased wouldn't be that high. But instead the game's program programming is kind of broken, meaning the 77 base damage doesn't go up to a humble 6000, no it goes right the way up to 12,068. To put this into perspective, if you're in a flashback sequence in this game and you're playing Riano Keeves, you get to play with his insane mech gun which is just brilliant, it one shots everything and it does 4000 damage in a headshot. This is enough to basically one hit everything and that's seen as being the perfect gun. Riano Keeves ultimate, this was when he was at his strongest moment gun. And we are able to go
go beyond that damage level, not by a little bit, but by well over double into 12,000 damage using what? Well, a $58 random starting pistol which I picked up off the floor. So do you want A, the Supreme S tier mega gun, maybe even a super high tier sniper rifle, or do you B, instead want a chumpy random revolver with the ability to puncture a hole through the bloody moon? But wait, that's not all ladies and gentlemen, because of course, as I mentioned, there's critical hit chances in this game. Now currently, if you were to stack all of the modifiers in this game to increase critical hit chance with say an assault rifle, then your critical hit chance might get as high as, I don't know, 30%, my goodness, that's incredible. Well, actually, no, it's pathetic, because with pistols, you're able to get your critical hit chance not up to 50%, not up to 70%, but up to 124%, meaning every single time you shoot, you're guaranteed a critical hit. How do you do it? Well, it's simple. Max out your reflexes statistic up to 20, and that's a plus 20% chance to crit. The brain power perk here increases critical hit chance by 25%. Westworld increases critical hit chance by 10%. High noon increases it by 12%. Then level 7 in handguns increases it by a further 5%. And then finally, in the stealth section, Strike from the Shadows adds another 25% to it. This is enough to raise the critical hit chance up to 124% chance of firing with each and every shot. But what is a critical hit? Well, a base critical hit is just 200% extra damage. But what if you were to fully max it out? Well, it's interesting you should ask that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, of course, a maximum critical hit doesn't just do base damage. It also does an extra plus 20% damage from a fistful of euro dollars. Then I'm also getting a plus 16% critical damage from just having level 8 in cool. This can be maxed out to a plus 40% critical damage. And then finally, the gun itself, being a chumpy random pistol, also has a plus 20% crit damage, meaning in total, if we were to land a critical hit, we do an extra 254% damage. What does that mean? Well, it means our chumpy gun doesn't do a base damage of 77 anymore. Instead, its base damage, if we were to get a critical hit on someone's head whilst being in stealth, is now at 30,652. That is well over 400 times more powerful than it actually starts off at. How has this gotten into the game? It is insane and I love it. I absolutely love it. My lovely character here, Vianu Keeves, he loves it too. Look at him, he absolutely loves the exploits. And the thing is, this isn't even its final form. You can level up your character further. This is a garbage low-level pistol. If you're a level 40 character, your revolvers up at level 40 aren't doing a base damage of 77. Your revolvers up at level 40 are doing a base damage of 200. For each damage you add to this gun, we're talking about an extra 200 damage at least. And the more the damage increases, the more and more it goes. So the jump from 77 base damage to 120 base damage isn't the jump from having a maximum output of 30,000 to 60,000. It's the jump from having a maximum damage output of 30,000 to 600,000. If this gun gets leveled up too many times, it's going to be doing over a million damage. There is nothing in this game with a million health. This gun one hits everything, absolutely everything. I'm like level 14 for goodness sake. Oh, it's insane. It's, it's a garbage gun and yet it packs one hell of a kick. Look at that. It, it says it at the bottom. Packs one hell of a kick. And this isn't even its final form. If you could get a legendary variation of a revolver, pump up its high base damage, you can add what are called mods. These can increase critical damage percentages, critical chance, increase just damage by a fixed amount. And if you're able to get a legendary revolver with mod slots, then suddenly your gun is going to be terrifying. Equally, you might be able to find equipment, which you can modify to increase your critical chance or damage. There is no end to this gun. It is terrifying. It has no counter. It just murders everything. We're also gaining a further plus 15% crit chance from just this random bulletproof vest which I found, which just has a mod inside it to give plus 15% critical hit chance, meaning our critical hit chance is now 150%. I've, I absolutely love Cyberpunk, but yes, this is 100% completely and utterly overboard. And I'm afraid there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how to turn one of the worst guns in the game into becoming by far the most powerful weapon this game can even consider just with one simple build that is so easy to pull off and yet will just allow you to walk through every single combat encounter in the game. Alternatively, if you don't even want to do combat, if you max out your cool stat, the enemies just aren't able to detect you. Oh, it's like Skyrim all over again. This is literally Cyber Skyrim 2020. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this exploit, feel free to like the video. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, it's up to you to decide what comes next on this channel because this is cyberpunk and there's a whole bunch of exploits out there. So what exploit would you like to see me find
game next because if anyone's going to find them, it's going to be me. And trust me, I've been blitzing through this game and there's a whole bunch that I can see lining up. So what exploit do you want to see next? Do you want to see A, an infinite money exploit? B, an immortality exploit? Or C, would you like to see just how far I can take this gun and how high I can take the damage? Because who knows what happens once we cross the 1 million threshold? Does the game simply just stop? Does it crash? Who knows? But hop on down to the comment section and vote as to what video you'd like to see next. And if you want to make sure you actually get to see that video, you can even subscribe and you can even press a bell button. You want to know what happens when you press the bell button? It breaks the YouTube algorithm and forces this video to be shown to a million people. I know, it is actually completely broken the way engagement works on YouTube and I love it. Nothing like exploiting my own job for a living. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. A huge thank you to each and every one of our majestic patrons who make these fantastic videos all the more possible. Pat yourselves on the back, you lovely sausages. And if you sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, maybe you've never seen another Spiffing Brit video before, well, guess what? I've got a whole bunch that you're gonna love to see. So please peruse one of these on screen now. You're gonna absolutely love it. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day and goodbye for now.